Hello there, I'm Alana Tucky, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the app Cam Scanner on your phone in order to be able to make PDF scans of your documents so that you can upload them to JetNet or send them to your instructor. All right, so I have a document here with lots of pages. I'm not going to scan all of them. And I have my phone and I've downloaded the Cam Scanner app right there on my phone. So I pull up Cam Scanner. Yep, it's just telling me that I'm there, right? All right, so down in the bottom corner, it has a little camera. So I can click on that and it'll say, okay, I'm ready to take a picture. So now I have to kind of zoom myself out from the page and you want to zoom yourself out pretty far because you want the full page but you don't want all the table around the page so you want it to be a good picture there we go and then you can check the picture that you took so if your edge is a little too far over if you're showing too much of the table around it if it's got too much shadow this one actually does have a little too much shadow i don't particularly like it i might actually swing my camera around a little bit better and try to take a different picture so i can say next if i'm happy with it which is this little arrow down here or i can hit the back arrow up here and say, yep, I'm gonna discard that image. I didn't like it, I'm gonna try again. I've repositioned my light so that I don't have a big shadow casted across my paper. That's not a good thing. All right, so then there it is. There's no big shadow. It's trimming off a little bit down there, that's fine, right? It's actually making it look like the full page. All right, so then I'm happy with that. So I say next, and it's gonna enhance that image, so that's great. I'm happy with that. And right now up at the top, I can actually go up and rename it because it's just gonna name it some you know, generic cam scanner thing. So I'm gonna put, you know, you would put your name in it. So you would put, you know, your name and then what document it is. So this was 3.1 notes for me. Always smart to kind of re um, change it. And it's not a bad idea to have your name in there somewhere. So if your name is Smith, for example, you would put Smith or something like that. That way your instructor, if you could spell Smith, which I can't, that way your instructor knows who it is and say, okay. There are other options down here that you can play with for um, lightening it or trying to make no shadow, etc. So there, there are a few options right there. So I'm gonna click the little check mark. So that's good. And then I have the document right there. It's sitting right there and it's a PDF right now. Now, if I want to add pages, see this where it says tap the camera to add pages. So I'm going to tap the camera. I'm going to flip my page to the next page. And then I'm going to take another picture. I'll actually try to do a bad one this time. Let's see if I can get too much in there. All right, so that did not work well. <laughs> so one thing, it's rotated. So I'm going to click the right rotation so that way it's spun it around because you're going to want to have your whole document be in portrait mode and then it's including some extra bit over here that I don't want that's actually from the next page or something so I'm going to kind of swing that back over here by grabbing that little um, dot over in the corner and getting that all squared away that looks good so now I can click next and there we go so now I've got two pages in there. So if I click a check mark, I can see that document, the Smith 3.1 notes is now two pages long, right? And then I could keep going, right? So I can click on um, this icon again. I don't wanna do multiple pictures on one page. That's not really what we wanna do. We wanna have a page and then another page and then another page. So I'm gonna click on that icon again and then I'll do one more. Let's see if I can get too much up the darkness at the top. Oh, see, it, it knew I was doing it and didn't want to do it. So if it, if it sometimes gets that table up there, just kind of swing the dots down and swing them over because you want it to look like a white sheet of paper, if your paper's white, which mine is. So I want it to look like a nice sheet of paper. And when I click next, it'll trim out all that extra stuff and make it look like my paper looked. All right. So now I have options for sharing this. It is a PDF currently, which is what I want. And then when I want to share it, this is where you can do all sorts of things. So if you have um, 
the ability to copy the URL, you could send it to yourself, you can send it to yourself through Messenger, you can email it to yourself. I'm going to click more. Oh, I didn't sign in. So let me cancel that. I reclicked on the, the share. All right, so you can go down here. So the PDF version was created with a, a watermark, and I didn't sign in. So I can share that PDF. And the app is currently telling me I can do a uh, watermark on it if I want to, but I don't need to do that. So I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna remove the watermark. We don't need to have it that it's with cam scanner. It's fine if it wants to do that. And it's trying to sell me on the premium version, but you don't need the premium version. You can just upgrade. That's right. That's right. If you're not on the premium version, then it will say scanned with um, cam scanner. That's fine. Nobody cares. It's no big deal. All right. So I'm going to click share. And then it's going to ask me, how did you want to share this PDF? So you can email it to yourself on your computer. Um, you can send it to your PC if your phone is connected to your PC or if you're on the local network. Um, so I personally just like emailing it to myself. So I'll pick my Gmail or my email and I'll send it there. You can send it to your, um, your Google Drive if you have a Google Drive connected to your phone. So you can save it there. And one way or another, you're going to send it to yourself. So I'm going to send myself an email. And I'll send it to my school email. There we go. So you can send it to yourself. If your instructors take them um, through email, you can, of course, email them to your instructors as well. And I'm not going to rate the app. Like most apps, it's trying to sell me something, as always. All right, then now on my computer, I'm going to receive that email. So I'm going to pause this. I'm going to open up that email and show you guys how to upload to GenNet. All right, so I have this email that has this as a PDF. And again, this is not the only way you can do this. You can also um, upload directly from your phone to JetNet if you go onto JetNet with your phone. So that's another way to do this. But I like this because then I have the record on my email of what was sent, and then I know I haven't lost anything, which I personally like. All right, I'm going to save this somewhere. Um, you want to save it to a place that you know where it is. So if you have a folder for the course you're in, you can make a little folder on your desktop just for that course and, you know, to keep all your documents in there. That way you don't lose anything. That's a nice idea. So I can make a folder that says, you know, math 133 stuff. <laughs> right? Or whatever you want to do. And then you can save it in there. If you save all the documents for your course in that one folder, whatever folder that may be, then that'll be great because then you'll know where everything is. All right, now I'm going to log into JetNet. Oops, hold on one second. I got to log in there. So when you're in your JetNet course, you would scroll to the assignment where it's listed. So for example, I was trying to submit the 3.1 notes, I would click on the 3.1 notes. Now, I'm going to have a different view than you because I'm viewing it as an instructor rather than as a student. So I'm going to go to a place where I'm a student, and this is a different JetNet course, and it, it's where you would go to submit. Um, this is more like what it would look like from the student view. And you can add a submission. And then it'll ask you, you know, where's your file? Now, if you're doing this on your phone, you could actually select the file from your phone because it would be saved in there somewhere. But again, I really prefer emailing it to myself or saving it in my Google Drive or saving it on my desktop. So I can click this little icon right here, which is that I'm going to add a file. And then I'm going to go find that file on my desktop. So I'm going to go choose a file. And for me, it's coming from my desktop because that's where I saved my Math 133 stuff folder. And so there are my notes. So, and then I can decide, you know, this is, I'm Smith, <laughs> that's my last name, and there we go. And of course, it, it's telling me that my last name is Tucky, but you get the idea, right? So you'd put your last name in, and then I would say upload this file. And there you go. And then if you click Save Changes, then you've submitted a document in that particular assignment that you were given. All right, I hope that helps for how to scan with CamScanner, as well as how to upload the scans when you're done. Again, there are several ways to upload. I just showed you one method, emailing it to yourself and then saving it to your, your computer and then uploading from your computer. You can also upload from your phone as well as there are other ways to upload from your computer if you so desire. The key will be to make all the pages into one PDF 
for each of the submissions that you have to make for your instructor. And of course, those pictures that you take should be well done, well lit, no big shadows, just the whole page. Don't let things get cut off or cropped off. Keep it the whole piece of paper and make sure your writing is nice and neat and clear on that picture and that PDF that you take. If not, you can always retake the picture with your camera if you need to, because you want your pages to look nice, because that'll mean that your instructor will be able to read everything. <laughs> 